So thank you very much. I think I'm the last or before the last talk, uh, the last one. So it's time to, you know, I'll, I'll try to make it engaging and I know you had a long day. Um, and I'll present Snap to you. This presentation is a whole new presentation. I tried uh, to make it a little bit more uh, appealing to education because I know it's of interest of you. Um, if you want to learn more business or, or real practical technology, um, I'll be happy to share it later. Um, so my name is Asaf, and I'm one of the founders of Snap. Um, we aim to be the largest, biggest platform for the mobile-only economy. Whenever I start talking about Snap, if we have time, we'll talk more about the team. Uh, it sort of sounds like a beginning of a joke because an Italian entrepreneur, a Chilean entrepreneur, and an Israeli entrepreneur uh, walked into a bar and decided to start a startup. We all met at Singularity University um, where we learned these, this number. Two billion people, two billion people are coming online in the next four years. 99% um, of them will probably do it from the mobile device and 67% of them will probably never interact with a PC. Um, we see it all over the world that, um, you know, you might, you, uh, pretty much everyone has a smartphone. Now, with this number, we know that these days, more than 200 million small businesses exist in, um, in mobile-only economies, uh, Latin America, Africa, and Asia, and 20 million more businesses are going to come online. Now, you might have noticed that we did the separation between PC economy and uh, mobile only economy and not uh, developing or developed or emerging because, uh, for example, India now has uh, launching 4G uh, and mobile money by the government, which is more advanced than any, uh, any country in the world. Uh, so we do the separation between mobile only economy, an economy that is driven by the mobile phone and PC economy. Now, if you're a small business in a mobile-only economy and you want to drive your business with technology, you don't really have a choice. If you're in a PC economy, Europe or, or US, you have a million of tools. You have Wix to build your website. You have Salesforce to manage your sales. You have CRM uh, systems to manage your, your sales. But if you only have a smartphone, and you came two years ago online thanks to WhatsApp and Messenger, how do you run your business? How do you power it uh, with technology? Uh, there's a sample that if you go to Wix.com uh, from your mobile phone, you see a sad face saying, sorry, go to the PC. Um, now these are a few samples of apps that were built with our platform from the smartphone. So from a wedding hall in India, a uh, bakery in Kenya, and a uh, uh, pineapple agriculture uh, farmer in Nigeria selling apps. Um, and with this platform, we aim to be the gateway for all the small businesses in developing markets. Now, I'll do a quick summary. First part of the platform is out. You download Snap, you build your app, and with one press publish, you go everywhere from Play Store, Apple Store, Optoid, which is secondary store, uh, huge in India and to all the local aggregators. As, an, as a small business, when we ask them, where do you want to be? Do you want a uh, Play Store website? They say, I want to be everywhere. So with one click of the button, you go everywhere. We then provide you tools to increase your R ROI, to get more uh, customers to your, um, to your business, to manage your inventory better. Um, and we also offer third-party businesses to upsell and up value uh, through the mobile device. For instance, um, if a mobile money company like Joy wants to be in the relationship between the uh, wedding hall owner and the clients and allow them to pay, we do that in every market. We launched in January, and up until then, uh, up until now, we had uh, touch wood, amazing success. Um, more than uh, 180,000 users, people who actually built apps, uh, their apps, the, the people who built apps got to 70, uh, sorry, 750,000 people, 
Now actually it's a little bit old, we're approaching a million end users. Uh, out of the apps build, 19,000 are small businesses uh, and also 50,000 sites. Now, for this presentation, uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit more about the brand and impact initiatives that we've done. Um, for distribution, we worked with also uh, online marketing on Facebook, uh, big telecoms in several markets, but we also had a brand and impact activity, which is our educational activity. Uh, about six months ago, uh, I had the great luck to be invited to Malawi. Uh, Malawi is a very small country in the middle of Africa. If you would do the scale of which country to go to in Africa to start a startup, um, if you check the, the infrastructure, the internet connection, uh, the number of mobile devices, probably Malawi would be the last. Uh, that's why we said, let's go there, because if we can do it over there, we can succeed. Um, and over there, we, went, uh, we ran the Bring Malawi Online uh, workshop, together with local innovation hubs, such as M-Hub and the local UNICEF, uh, together with five local schools, um, and I think around 500 uh, students. Uh, they built more than a thousand amazing apps where we asked them uh, in the three hour workshop, uh, how, which app would you build to impact uh, your local community? So from a 15 year old girl in Malawi that built an app about educating women uh, in English and in the local, local dialect uh, to a local entrepreneur hub, to tourist, uh, tourist uh, app, um, and even an app about carbon footprint in Malawi. Um, so we came there for three days. Uh, honestly, I just came there as a, you know, as a tourist. I sent the workshop ahead of time. I sent the tool ahead of time. And the local uh, innovation hub did all the, org they organized all by themselves and actually did the workshop as uh, they believed it would be the best way to do it with a local community. Um, now, three days later, I left. I didn't really know what is going to happen, how the community is going to build it up. And at this point, I'm going to tell you about two, two main things that happened. One on the business level, uh, how the local community of entrepreneurs took our tool and continue, and more about the feel good that happened later. So first of all, uh, you can see the guy on the left. A uh, few days later, he printed our logo by himself, added a shop, and said, uh, this is a snap shop. I'm going to, um, not only selling pop-up uh, air cards, uh, sorry, data cards for the mobile, mobile telecoms, but I'm also going to sell apps. If you have a small business and you want me to build an app, I know better English, I can take better images, pay me $2, and I'll build an app for you even though at that time we were free. He still got clients uh, selling his app from door to door. Uh, and this is actually one of his clients. Uh, it's a bicycle slash tourist agency in Lilangwe that take people, uh, tourists on a bike ride through the capital. Um, if we have time, I can send you and see the pictures. And we also were featured on BBC thanks to these apps. Now. A little bit more on the education part of uh, what happened. So we sort of got to Malawi. We brought the tool over there, and it started to spread uh, like um, we said sustainable, started to spread like grassroots uh, over, not like fire. Um, and these two amazing things happened. Um, for each user that builds an app and it gets to a number of uh, users, we automatically send an email saying, hey, if you want, like make a video of your, uh, of your app and we'll publicize it. And this is actually a video of an orphanage uh, in Malawi that did a workshop by themselves. Uh, we didn't know about this workshop where they taught kids on how to build apps. They build an app for the orphanage uh, get with a button to send donations and so on. And basically, the I won't show the whole video now, but basically the sentence that got me was, uh, they call it their app. They actually have something now in the 
web that they call it themselves. They have their pictures, they have everything. Uh, on the side, because every successful startup uh, presentation needs to have a picture of uh, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, this is our. Um, it's a story about, uh, again, five kids who were in, this, uh, in our workshop that entered a competition by the local telephone, PNM. Uh, the five finalists were the kids from our workshop that built an app, and the winner of this workshop got to fly to the Silicon Valley uh, and meet Mark Zuckerberg. And all of this without us even being there. Imagine waking, in, waking up Saturday morning and seeing the picture of a kid and you say, hey, I know this guy. How did he end up meeting him? A little bit of research and we saw it. And this is a surprise from this morning. I told you a few, uh, let's go over here. I told you a few of our users are sending us. No, won't let me. This is actually a video we got this morning. Hi, uh, I'm Srivatsa. I live in Hyderabad, India. Uh, we run a printing press which was started by my dad in 1980. And uh, we have evolved into Srija, expanding our business into trading and manufacturing of wedding cards, paper bags and boxes for commercial as well as uh, personal use. Currently, uh, we are serving 1,500 to 2,000 individual clients every year. Recently, I've come across uh, Snap, which helped me build our uh, Shrija app. I found it uh, amazing and uh, easy to use. It helped me expand our uh, business uh, across the globe. So far, I could say that things are going great, and uh, I look forward to uh, uh, for more experience, amazing experiences with Snap. Actually, you could see, I don't know if you could see in the sample, uh, it's a very simple app. He put a contact us button and that's the first time uh, his business is online. Um, and just got it this morning, I hope you like it. Back to the presentation. How did I make it full screen? Oh, okay. Uh, a little bit about the team. Um, Israeli, Italian, Chilean, Bulgarian. Um, we're actually very lucky to have a few uh, key players from the industry join our team. Uh, Fabio Rosati, the uh, CEO and now chairman of Upwork. Uh, you might have known it as Odesk. I know uh, half of uh, uh, Upwork's um, clients and users actually come from India, providing um, freelance services, uh, development freelance services. Lan Makavi, he's the person who launched the first uh, mobile client of Facebook, uh, also a huge success in India uh, on the old Nokia uh, dump phone. And Laura Estefani, uh, one of our driving advisors, she's actually in charge of uh, LATAM industry. Um, so in SNAP, we aim to be the gateway for the next two billion people coming online. Um, and that's about it. I'll be happy to get any questions. If you want, I can tell a little bit more about the business aspect. Thank you. Thank you.